His friends still call him TJ, but when he goes to his mosque, this former U.S. soldier becomes Mustafa. That's the name that was given to him by the detainees he oversaw at Guantanamo. He was barely 20 years old when he discovered Islam by talking to those who were supposed to be America's worst enemies. If I wanted to have an intellectual conversation or a conversation in regards to religion or politics or, or, or just general theology, having a conversation with the detainee was by far going to be much more superior than having a conversation with my fellow guards. TJ did not witness any interrogations, so he cannot say whether inmates were tortured or not. But every day he saw the detainees suffer as they waited for a trial that never came. Their courage drew the young man to their source of inspiration, Islam. Seeing individuals who were, who were devout Muslims practicing Islam every day in, in, in a horrible place like that with the atrocities that were occurring and, and uh, being stolen captives from, from their life, it was, uh, it was an interesting experience for me to see somebody take faith so seriously, to be so devout towards it. These days, TJ attends services at the mosque in Tempe, Arizona, the city where he grew up. He says he feels at home here, and the whole community welcomed his conversion. With help from his imam, he now struggles to put a troubled past behind him, including the trauma of his year at Guantanamo and the alcoholism that followed his discharge from the army. Yeah, whatever I need a quiet moment, if I, if I just need to, to regroup my mind and collect and rest and let go of all the stresses and everything that's going on, I can always come here. There's always somebody who's going to smile. There's always somebody who's happy to see me. People were very, 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 uh, pr I mean, proud of him. People were very happy to have him as part of our community. People just, you know, he, he can tell you, they really welcomed him and gave him warm welcome. But not everyone is so supportive of TJ's conversion. Since the U.S. media began covering his story, he has received hundreds of messages from Americans, accusing him of being a traitor.